so this you can do now let's understand the issue let's talk about issue and how do we fix it so when I come down you see it's it's causing this error could not check if session variable application is set currently client socket disconnected before TLS connection was established yeah so could not connect to any host so basically it is trying to connect to our HANA database our HANA database but it's failing okay let's scroll down more error deployment container could not connect to any host so it basically it's trying to connect to our HANA DAO, HANA database now yeah the dis uh, disconnected before connection was established client socket disconnected client socket dis is continuously giving that what is the issue yeah what is the x now you will not get some time any clue here yeah sometime you will not get any clue it keeps on telling client socket disconnected client socket disconnected client socket disconnected client socket disconnected constantly keep telling the same thing but there is no way sometimes sometimes it's unfortunate yeah it's very unfortunate sap sometimes have made things very complex and i admit it openly for you you might also face it guys sometimes you will not get direct solution of these issues you have to keep looking logs and logs also doesn't give you fruitful information so you can solve it but i truly believe it comes with this training and with the experience some things i cannot teach you they come with experience some things i can teach you what i already know so this training will help you to crack some of the problems now in this situation what is happening guys it's basically the issue of white listing what is white listing so sap hana cloud database it is protected protected with something called white listing so guys we are running a database in the cloud in the cloud anybody somehow if they get this link they can try to attempt to connect to your database you see this is the link it's publicly available link actually this is in the cloud so it's a publicly available link on the internet on the internet yeah now even though let's say somebody don't have your username password yeah they don't have your username still they can crash this database how anybody would like to comment how can somebody crash this database so there is something called brute force attack what is brute force attack it is basically an ethical hacking concept where what you do is if you get a publicly available domain or URL which is available here you see this database is available publicly I will send billions of requests through a automated software it's called brute force so there are techniques in the Linux in the hacking through which you can maliciously send billions of requests to a web address which is publicly available yeah and that will overload the server because these requests will come and pile up it will overload the server and it will crash the server <clears throat> so what companies do to prevent that brute force attack they will do white listing they will add a circuit breaker what is a circuit breaker just like in your house you have circuit breaker when electricity come to your house the moment a surge in the power comes there is a circuit breaker which breaks the circuit correct so similarly when there is a surge of calls coming to a to a web, web address which is publicly available we need a circuit breaker mechanism to prevent a unusual traffic so for that what sap does for their hana database they do white listing so any call coming from any IP address, they will not even accept. The circuit breaker will reject it simply. That's what is happening here. So you have to explicitly whitelist. You have to tell your HANA cloud to allow, to allow the calls coming from anywhere. So what is happening is currently HANA cloud is part of BDP. Yes, I understand it's part of BDP. But it is actually an independent module. So this is your entire BTP environment. Here is your HANA database, HANA cloud. It's part of BTP account. Yeah. But at the same time, you have this application which is coming now. And this application is attempting to connect to this HANA cloud. Now this HANA cloud have a circuit breaker already. It's a switch. Yeah, it's a circuit breaker. So 
when this cap application which we deployed just now is trying to make a contact to this hana cloud it is not allowed because the ip address from where the call is going it's not white listed it's the security mechanism of hana cloud it's a security mechanism so you have to tell this hana cloud bro please allow me it's me hey bro please allow me it's me it's me yeah it's me i'm i'm a genuine user please allow <laughs> yeah so this is done by changing hana cloud configuration parameter so right now what we have done when we created this hana cloud we did not give that information to hana cloud so hana cloud is actually rejecting this call when this application deployed application is trying to make a contact through the hdi microservice it's rejecting it the circuit breaker is rejecting it so what do we do to allow this now this is something which came with experience when i worked with with sap hana in depth that's how i got this information so i worked day and night with btp over last couple of years that's the reason i am able to figure out these things very easily but for new beginners it will be difficult and that's why this training guys this training is going to help you out okay so how do we solve this problem now so for this to solve we have to change the configuration parameter yeah so either we have to give the exact address of our btp account yeah from where the call is going to hana yeah which is basically also there yeah our btp account address yeah which we have to give our btp sub account uh, you know address we have to give it or we have to allow all ip so right now to solve it i will allow all ip address i will change my hana database configuration to allow all ip address traffic allowing to come to it so to be able to do that you need to go back again to your sap hana database in the btp account so come back to btp account instance and subscriptions and here is our hana database anubhav hana which we created yeah we did that and then we have an option triple dot and you will have an option somewhere to say view parameter so if you say view parameter you can see these are all the parameters which are there currently and there will be a parameter you see white list ips wahala wahala but what is given here nothing is given here so this is the reason when it is trying to connect once application is there in the btp account in our btp account is deployed now this deployed application is trying to make a contact to hana cloud and since there is no ip which is white listed at the moment it is rejecting that and that's why your hana dv deployer module is failing wow wow so how do we modify this so we have to now modify this configuration parameter so somewhere there has to be an update and now what we have to do we have to go to next and here we have to pass this parameter now i don't know what parameter to pass so you can say view the current configuration yes or configuration instance parameter i and go to documentation so i go to documentation and here i will search for whitelist ip something related to ip so i have to just see change allow connections yes you see change allowed connections what is allowed to bypass the circuit breaker so you see data white listed ip so you have to read it so you can push the ip address here you see now if i want to allow everything you should pass 0. this 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 to allow from any ip address which is what i'm going to do now super beautiful so i copy first this configuration better you copy from here don't copy manually be an engineer be an engineer there's a copy button there yeah you need to be smart act like an engineer so come back and paste and then inside this the value should be what let's come back to the documentation the value should be this if you want to allow traffic from all ip so that is the value in the double quote now people will do mistake guys here also even though i have explaining you everything like spoon feeding like school babies if you do mistakes it will cause issues will cause issues so be very very careful be very very careful so now i do this so this will now allow to run my db deployer module successfully to establish a connection by bypassing the circuit breaker because now we added that exception 
to allow traffic so i say update instance which will take few seconds yeah you see update is in progress we just have to wait and once it is complete we will come back and re-attempt deploying our db deployer module again awesome awesome now do you need to redeploy the srv module perhaps not why reason being it's already running up and running of course it will show the service but when you try to access a service endpoint it will give you an error obviously obviously it'll give you an error so certainly that that will not going to work yeah at least but uh, because the database is down because there's nothing got deployed in the database the db deployer module crash so you can redeploy just the db deployer module again how do we redeploy independent microservice individual microservice so you can just take the module name and you can say clear cf deploy only this one module also wow remember microservice architecture you can independently deploy each microservice wow wow guys so that you can do or if you are confused simple option is just go back empty archive right click and deploy this whole thing so it will redeploy the srv it will redeploy the db deployer also but it will not recreate those microservices because they are already created the auth and the the container microservice both are created let me show you the ones which are also created you see you see this my cap app db that's the container mickey was a container while i was developing my cap app dash db is the container which will be used by all the users once the app is deployed because all the users will share the data it's a common database but during deployment ananya and myself we all using mickey mouse and donald duck our private containers during the de development design time this is the container at runtime a central container used by all the end users which are using your cap application so if one sales representative create a sales order the sales manager can immediately see it because the data is in the same container but during development anubhav create a sales order ananya cannot see she is another developer she is working with donald duck container i am working with mickey mouse container so design time and run time both i have explained you now you see auth service and db service both you have it yeah, they are created automatically managed by btb based on the mta yaml file so let's see if database configuration is updated now yeah it's updated let's try to redeploy and this time i hope and i believe this should work fine because we have added whitelisting so i can right click and say deploy again okay now congratulations to all of you it's all done you see no error anymore yeah we allowed it we allowed it so no more errors it's all worked yeah it's all fully functioning you see my cap app db so which means now now i should be able to see my new container the runtime container so i plus button go to hda containers wahala my cap app db this is my actual container which will be used at runtime by all the users yes runtime Thank you.